Welcome back. Profound Podcast. Episode 29. Today we're going to be talking about instant gratification. What's up? What's up? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. yes. Sir. <laughs> okay. So just to get a little premise and general knowledge of the subject area, um, can one of you define what instant gratification is? I would say like instant gratification is like immediate satisfaction after you do something or getting something like in return you want it like quick not like you don't want to wait yeah uh pretty much same thing um just to give like a better example uh like kind of like hookup culture what's going on now you got people like hooking up first dates first time hanging out instead of just waiting and forming like a valuable relationship so pretty much what Beatles said Why is this so okay, whatever. Uh, what are the main contributors to uh, instant gratification within today's society? Um, if you well, had to generalize. My opinion, I, I just say, like, it kind of starts from a young age when people give kids phones. And this is, like, a hot take of mine, but, like, mm. giving these kids, for, like, young kids phones gives them the access to information and all types of stuff that they can access really quickly. And that just kind of starts and builds off that. Like, you give them app games, and then it just keeps building, like, slowly into later into life. So what age do you think kids should get phones? 17, 18. God. Seriously, seriously. Bro, like, there was a study that was Andrew just published. Andrew just turned 18. There's, there's a study that was just published. 17, 18. There's a study that was just public, published that said 13 is young. It was by the CDC. They said phones for 13-year-olds are, like, not good. Well, I know kids who got phones where, hey, I got a phone when I was 14. I got a phone yeah. in freshman year of high school, so right. 16, 15. You got a phone when you were in 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. I was 15. I was old. You were, uh, you were, you you were a, no, I got a phone, I think it was eighth grade. It was like my eighth grade year in middle school. But was, everybody, yeah, they I, still I, had like tablets and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. it was like, no, yes, the stuff online Definitely. is like the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So you think it should be 17, 18? They shouldn't have like technology that can reach the internet i just like these kids who are like grew up on phones just have less generally social skills and other aspects that just make them harder to communicate with and they don't have like like i never had a phone and i'm able to talk to people but i just know some people who are like just really struggle to communicate just because they've been like all like this like we'll be social settings and i'll see people looking down like playing like this and it's just that's everybody it's an easy way to get out of a social situation i know but like That's just that's just like rooted within them. So you Honestly. feel like it's phones that do it. Yeah, that's that's just me. That's just my hot take. Yeah, I would say like growing up, like my parents, like during the week, I was not able to like use my phone and like watch TV at all, because like my parents, like you have to like go outside and communicate with others. Like you can't just like look at your phone all day. Which I'm glad I did it because it helped my social skills. But like I know like a lot of people that don't do that, and it's like it's crazy how like you can literally like you try to like talk to someone and they're just like. Like doing this and I'm like just trying to like nod to them I'm not trying to like you know make that much small talk but like it's hard to tell like when like you try to like make social cues with people if they want to because they're just on their phones all the time so it's like you know that's real um in my experience hmm I don't know my parents didn't let me go on my phone like all the time of course you know we had like scheduled times not really schedule times, but, like, you wouldn't be able to play, like, video games or something or do anything like that unless, like, you had all your work done and had, like, a reasonable excuse yeah. to do it. Otherwise, it'd be on a weekend. And, like, our iPhones or our tablets or whatever we had, I don't remember being, like, strictly regulated on it, but, like, over the summer, they'd be like, get off your phones and go outside. And even if we had nothing to do outside, we'd just have to sit outside. Yeah. <sighs> Did you uh, like that style of banning? Yeah. Well, um, it depends which house is at. Like, if I was at my mom's house, yeah, I could go hang out with my friends. But my dad used to live in, like, places that didn't have anyone I knew around it. So we, me and Ethan, we just had to play basketball or something until we got bored. But at my mom's, we could just go, like, walk around Shaker and whatever. When, what not. So mm-hmm. I guess it's, it just depended on the area I was in. But Why mm-hmm. not? Why are you not going to hoops, though? Hmm? If you used to have to like, I'm better than you, but it's that's not the point. All right. <clears throat> um, do you think you? <laughs> how would it be better without you know the the things? How would it be better if you we weren't be better? oriented around uh, I mean, short-term gratification? Things it's will hard. be things will be valued like way more significantly. So I think you develop like the relationship example. I think you develop better relationships when you take time to slowly, you know, 
uh, take things up a scale. Like, I think going in and hooking up is, like, the worst way to start a relationship. So, like, just everything is just more profound, and it makes society, like, stronger. And I think it, make it makes people stronger once the wait, because good things come to people who wait. But not you know to those who wait too late. Is that a song? Yes. Uh, what song <laughs> is that? Um, just the two of us. Bill Withers. Oh, just the two of us. <laughs> good things come to those who wait, but not to those who, who wait, wait too late. late. Come uh, on now. I see? remember that. I don't know. I feel like, honestly, it would be different, obviously. We'd have, like, more connection with others. Um, but I guess in the sense of, like, there wouldn't be as much awkwardness. Like, I could, like, go up to you and, like, say hi, and then you could have a conversation that way. Um, I guess it would be better because, you know, like, hooking up, hookup culture is just, like, it. it's very toxic because you just don't know, like, what could happen. Like, the girl could be down with it. And some people, like, like doing that stuff, which is not a problem, but, like, people get hurt in some ways, and it's, like, that hurt part can be, like, both emotionally draining psychologically draining it could like fester into other things and other avenues of relationship if you're trying mm. to if you do it too early so i think that hookup culture was around even when our parents were growing up yeah. i'll tell you it, that's not a, i promise you it was around no i'll yeah. take like it's i don't even think do you that's think a it was, do, do, do you think it was as as prominent as it was i think it's, it was just as prominent it's just they didn't have avenues of which to talk about it more for me I mean, it's definitely more accessible for people because you can get, like, a connection with, like, someone on the internet in a matter of seconds. Yeah. But people would just meet people, and then it'd be like that. Like, you go to, they'd go to the club, meet someone, and it'd be, like, the same sort of thing. They just had to put, like, a tiny bit more working because it was, like, a face-to-face -face interaction. Mm -hmm. We've got so desensitized to it that we can just do that on the phone and then determine that from just from, like, pictures and shit. Yeah. From like little conversations. I mean, yeah, I, was, it, I don't think that's a hot take. I, I know. I think it wasn't. You don't think it was around? Were, I, I, think, was around. I think I think it was around, but I just don't think it was nearly as prominent as it is, as it is now. Like I think a lot of these people that I've like talked to, like my friends talk to at the bars and whatever. I'm just thinking like, if they're like hooking up with my friends this quickly, like. You know, it's just like a lot of these people my friends are interacting with. It's just like, wow. Like, I'm, I'm certain. You're certain what? I'm, I'm certain, certain it was happening I'm back then, was too. Happening yeah. But yeah. I, like that. I don't know if it was as prompt. I, I think it was mm. happening back then. It was just, like, not as talked about. Yeah. Like, it's... Because like, it was being yeah. promiscuous was seen as... Like, such a bad a, thing. It was so yeah. negatively yeah. connotated. Yeah. okay. So people wouldn't actively just talk about that, like, openly in a setting. And men would talk about that, of course. I hear you. But yeah. exactly, that's, like, what I'm saying, because... They would still talk about that. If you, I don't know, I don't know how your pops was. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. know what he, I don't he, know what he was like doing. Like that, no. But like, I know a couple older gentlemen who uh, have attested to the fact that it was just like that. Okay. Yeah. It was just more like. Now it's like everyone's like, oh yeah, like I'm hooking up with this girl. I would say it's easier though. I, I'm just saying there was a culture back then. I'm, I, okay. I can, I can. I can agree with that. I, I can, can agree, agree that. that it was definitely it's more prominent now because. Okay. It's so easy to do now. Yeah. Like, it doesn't take any effort. Like, I see my friends using, like, Twitter, or not Twitter, Tinder. Oh, Tinder. <laughs> Tinder. Tinder. Tinder's wild. And it's like, and then it's over with. Yeah. And that's so, like, easy to do. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't, I don't, I don't even yeah. have a Tinder, so I'm like, dude, what? Yeah, I don't have one either. How about you, bro? You think I, yeah. Nah, I <laughs> but, <laughs> of course not. But, um, wow. yeah. So you, you figure it's be better without those things. But I, oh, I think those like, things are inherent to just how our society structure regardless. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it, when the change necessarily happened, but that type of hookup culture in terms of like relationship, short-term gratification, I feel like that's always been there. Now like social media and entertainment, short-term gratification, I don't think that's something that's always been around. Cause you would have like to watch. Like example of entertainment like, gratification. Like TikTok. Okay, yeah. No. Well, they didn't have that. They had to watch shows and actually get to the climax of like yeah. the plot. Watch and three episodes. Watch, yeah, yeah, yeah. they had to do a lot that. more. Or they have to read a book or something. But mm -hmm. we can just scroll on TikTok and laugh. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. Anywho. <coughs> <laughs> um, how do you think it impacts interaction? I know we kind of touched on it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just, just to make it specific. Peter, you want to go first? Yeah, so it's like, I guess just like awkwardness. Because it's like, I, I'd say growing up for me, like, like my communication was like, key like how I talk to people like it's everything like your first impression on like who you talk to is very important so I would say like now with technology it's like when you try to talk to people it's like different 
like to answer the question, it's like kind of like nerve wracking, and like I don't know, like to to go back to your to go back to the your, what you're trying to ask. I don't, I'd say it's just more awkwardness. Like it's not like genuine. I feel like um, it's just like okay, you know, I just I just talk to someone like okay, but it's like what what did you guys talk about? Did you guys talk about like? basic things like oh what's your favorite color they might say blue and i might say red it's like it kind of it makes it hard for like people to have like a deep conversation or to get to know that person i feel like um i'm gonna re- relate mine back to the relationship example mm-hmm. so like say you're like into hookup culture you do that all the time because you like that instant gratification that feeling of getting with somebody whatever mm-hmm. um it, it definitely just changes you as a person overall like looking for long-term relationships because you're always looking for that next quick fix that you can get like that next hookup that next so like definitely in relationship wise you're just not looking for anything long term because you just like the feeling of having sex with somebody real quick and not having to get attached to them um like overall like person to person wise and entertainment uh, it just creates like a shorter attention span and -hmm. gives people like less to focus on which just kind of makes you like I don't know, in my opinion, it's like a weaker person if you can't focus for 10 minutes on a lecture or you yeah, know, TikTok for yeah. a lecture or anything like that. <laughs> no, like, but to add on to that. Like, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, trying to, to violate the book on TikTok like, during a like, lecture. No, but to add on to that, he makes a good point of, like, I find myself sometimes, like, in class, I'm like, oh, like, I'm watching this, like, TikTok, and I'm like, it's funny as hell, it might be, but, like, then I, like, I see, like, teachers, like, taking notes, I'm like, oh, crap, I just kind of have to pay attention, so... It's, like, social media, like, is, like, very important to certain people, and it's, like, oh, I have to post. I feel like the urge, like, oh, if I don't post, like, I feel like I'm not important, and then you have a lot of people that have, like, issues of, like, likes yeah, and comments nice. and, like, that. I don't really feed into that because, like, if I post something, it's, like, for a memory, like, for that moment that happened. But, like, people just post to, like, post, and I'm, like, how many influencers like, do we have? Because it's, like, it's hard to tell, like, the real influencers from, like, the fake ones, so. And... It's going to keep getting bigger and bigger because, like, you know, Instagram is, like, very... And Snapchat and all social medias are, like, very important people because people want to be famous so bad, so... I think... I don't like how you tried to shoot at me for being a... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I'm just playing. You, I mean, do it, you do it because you think you already understand the yeah, concepts. Yeah. When I'm in math, like, and I understand the general premise, yeah, yeah. I'll start looking at my phone because yeah. he, mm-hmm. he'll, like, our teacher specifically, he'll go on tangents about stuff that doesn't really... Yeah, matter. showing proofs. That yeah, if I, if, I, if I have the dinner equation, I'll be fine. So I'm like, okay, let me just look at my phone. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But uh, in other classes, I don't hardly ever go on my phone. I'm in, in econ sometimes, but that's econ a 700. So is yeah, it's you a 700 person <laughs> lecture, and they never. It's never like, I don't know. It just be like, talk, 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 and then it's like focus. We have a top hat question. Then it's talk, talk, talk. Like yeah. we're not really. I don't know. It's not really that no. engaging. But um. Other than that, I think that the instant gratification and specifically social media has caused people to not, you know, have those important conversations with themselves. So, like, they're putting out a certain image on social media, and then that's all they think of themselves. So when they're actually, like, put in a position to have a real conversation with someone, all they can bring out is the surface-level stuff they've allowed themselves to think about. Because they're not, like, sitting alone with themselves thinking about, like, what they actually like and what they actually want to talk about. So no one has those conversations with themselves, so they're unable to, like, have those with others. Creating that false persona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So? I know. (laughs) (laughs) But I I wasn't really on social media as a kid, so I guess that kind of benefited me a lot. I didn't have an Instagram until I was like, probably. I didn't have a Snapchat till sophomore year of high school. I still, bro. Yeah. I still haven't had like more than seven streaks at the time. Ever. I don't ever have. Sh- I have three friends on my best friends list right now. I hate Snapchat. <laughs> no, I don't like that that much either. I think I got like Instagram in high school, like freshman year, because like I was not allowed to have it like during middle school. But it just better develops you. I don't know. I just don't yeah. feel the need to be on my phone all the time because it just takes away from what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what a, a big issue with, like, eating for me, personally. You can't eat without no, a video. For real. No, like, no, for like, real. I, I don't eat with a video because it just takes you longer and it just, like, I don't know. It's just not, it's satisfying once you do it, but once you get done, you look at your watch, you spend 30 minutes in the, mm-hmm. in the, uh, Scott getting food. It's just, it's just a bad, it's just a bad feeling after. I'd be grubbing right in front of this screen right here. That's <laughs> a lot. Like, every trip. But, um, I don't know. Eating without a video. 
Let me get it. What, what you watch when you when you're Yeah, what do you watch? Anything, really. What do you watch, Beetle? Honestly, I'm watching Grownish right now. Huh. Blackish is way better. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, so Grownish is I like watched neither it's too predict. I feel like the first season was good. Like the yeah. first few, like four four seasons were good, but then this new season, I'm like, this is kind of trash. <laughs> um, but I watch also the show called Veep. It's like the vice president. It's on HBO. It's kind of funny. It's like The Office. But the Office is not a funny hot take. <laughs> that is a super hot take. So I'm gonna I'm seriously. Gonna exit, I'm gonna that's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> um. If we are conscious that we're being victims to instant gratifications, then why don't we help ourselves out? Ooh, that's tough. That's I mean, a good question. To answer that, I feel like it's hard to pull ourselves out of that hole. Like when you do a routine, like over and over again, it makes it hard for you to be like, "Oh, I kind of want to stop doing this if I get the same result," and like you're satisfied. So would you it. say you're addicted? I would. <laughs> Well, in a way, I guess, because if you can't, like, pull yourself out of that hole, then I feel like you do have an addiction to a certain extent. Yeah, I think you do. There's no, like, in between, I feel like. Yeah. Um, with me, like, personally, I feel like it's so, like, rooted in our society. Like, you're on your computer for school. You have your phone. on. You have Carmen Cameras on your phone. You just you just need to have, like, a back-and-forth access. You got people texting you, confirm codes and stuff. And just, like, general communication with people through school is just based in your phone. So it's just so based in your phone, and it's hard to, like, get out of this loop that everybody's in. Um, that's why, like, I've considered dele- deleting social media so many times. Like, I literally have I 30 too. minutes of Snapchat mm-hmm. on a day. And then Instagram is my biggest, like... Oh, you on Snapchat for 30 minutes? 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Is that you think that's a lot? I, 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 my that's probably like lot. five, to be honest. <laughs> like, 30 minutes? Because I'm just like, I don't, I don't, well, I don't watch people's stories, but I don't care. I don't, no, I don't watch people's stories. When I'm on, like, like I'll, I'll just Snapchat, like, Malia or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm opposite. But 30 minutes, I don't know how I could sit on there for 30 minutes. <laughs> but actually, no, I'm going to check because I might be talking. Yeah, like, I think you're no talking, reason. I think you're talking crazy right now. Wait, where do you check oh, I forgot, I time. forgot. You could, like, is that a yeah. setting? Or is that a... Yeah, yeah, it's a setting. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my screen time is not on. 14 minutes, actually. Because screen time is the most important. Like, look. Like, my week average is pretty bad, but today is two hours. It's just, it's mine's is, like, bad. I think well, it was. Well, it was never. I don't I don't have any activity. Just turn it on. Turn it on. And then see what, you, see what you spend most of your time on. It's TikTok, bro. <laughs> I know it's on TikTok. But I, I would consider deleting social media, but a lot of what I do is kind of centered around it. Yeah, so it's no, kind of hard sure. to do. Not for you. You're Damn. like a content creator. What was your, what's yours at? We go talk about that. Let me see. What is it? I mean, basically. Damn. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, it's Instagram. Oh, it's it's like Instagram. Instagram. Instagram's like Instagram. is like four hours and sixteen. Daily hours. average six. Spotify is an hour and fifty eight. Oh, account. music, Spotify music, is whatever. Because that's just yeah. back. Snapchat's an hour and seven minutes. Damn, I spent fourteen minutes on Snapchat. <laughs> and then like Safari is the most because I do a lot of research. So. On like topics I'm interested in learning about. So what kind of research? Yeah, what kind of research? Stop. Stop. Oh, okay. No, seriously. Like I really take time to like research th- certain things like I learned like I'm in a few clubs and I'm like oh I kind of want to learn more about this topic than just someone just teaching it to me I kind of like to do yeah. some diligence one time I turned my phone on like monochromatic it was just it was just the, gray and the black the opposite colors no it was just gray and black okay. like grayscale I mean oh okay like just so it wasn't interesting like hold on I'm going to say because no. if you do that then your phone looks so boring how do you do it so if you went like right here and you just went on. Where the, where the hell is that? Color filter. And then the grayscale. <laughs> this is how your whole phone's gonna look like this. And I had it like that for a couple of days and it started getting annoying. Because I was like, I'm not even on my phone that much to really be worried about all yeah. of this. But um, uh, in general, I'm probably too much. I'd say like emails, like, I get a lot of emails too, like from like Buckeye Mail and all that stuff. So that's why like, I like responding. Like, Right away. I don't know if it's my email. You respond to your emails? <coughs> I need, you need to look at your email. If it's from a person, I oh, respond. Yeah, but if it's, I don't respond to like what kind of email. I don't oh. know. I can't respond to no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my teachers, of course, because uh, usually you have to hit them up first for, you, for them to even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. So, so how can we? Hold on. Okay, okay bro. No, yeah. I just got to check the email real quick. There's something I have to you gonna kick out the school? No, hold on. Oh, oh okay, you had, the, okay, you had okay, an interview sure. with uh, what teacher? G. Launch. 
I know. Oh, I, yeah, I, I gotta I, do that. I gotta I do that too. That. I gotta do that. I faked the interview. How? Oh, what? Well, actually, I'm. It, it was it easy? Yeah, fake? I just acted like I talked to one of my teachers. Do you have to record it or just write down what they say? No, write down what you were talking that's about. That kind of sounds like a good idea. No, I had to do it for my English teacher because he's kind of interesting. But I had a conversation with him. This guy named Matthew Carlin. Oh, okay, no, I thought I was going to yeah. do like mine or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Continue. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> They'll be in the same classes, huh? Anywho, um, how can we help ourselves if we're not going to give up social media? I mean, I would say, like, take at least, like, an hour. Like, break it down into increments. Whenever you have free time, do not look at your phone for, like, ever how long much time you might have. Like, if it's, like... You get back from your dorm and you're done with classes by like 12. Like, go get some lunch, um, but not don't look at your phone. Like maybe for like maybe 10, 15 minutes or an hour if you can. Um, it's you have to break it down by increments because if you say like if you set the bar really too high, it makes it kind of like difficult for you to like accomplish that. So I'd say like take it like by increments and step by step. Like, cause it's, it's hard to like put. I feel like it's hard for me to put down the phone. Like you, we just you saw you saw the hours like. I wonder what my hours is like. I don't think I don't think they're there. Keep it on. No, keep it on. For I'm, like I'm gonna week, keep, I'm, I'm gonna keep it on. For, I didn't know I was <laughs> off. I thought it was on. Yeah. But um, I don't think it'd be up crazy. I think it was because over the summer I turned it off because it was like your TikTok's up like three hundred percent. I would be sitting. Three hundred percent is crazy. Three hundred percent is like one hour to three hours. So yeah. it's not that crazy, but well, it depends what. what yeah, you I don't. Before, I mean, it can only go so high a day. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, that's true. So I just turn, I think I turned it off then. But in general, how do I think we can help ourselves? You want me to answer? You to I can I can answer. Okay. But um, I think we don't take the time to be with ourselves. Like no one, we can't exist in solitude. Most people can't. Like they can't be in a quiet room by themselves without like something stimulating them, like either music or or something else, because they're afraid of the solitude. Or who they are in solitude more so, because I feel like a lot of people don't know themselves, and once they sit alone with themselves, they're like, I kind of don't like what I got going on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of opposite of that. Like, me per, me personally, I kind of like taking. Like, it's it sounds, I guess, weird, but I don't really Somewhere. care. Um, <laughs> I like to be to myself a lot. Like, I thought you said be to yourself. I was a little confused. Oh, bro. All right, chill out. Bro. All right, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Um, it's just, I kind of, like, not, I just like to, you know, like, have the room to, like, myself, like, whether it's, like, my roommate is, like, out and about, I just, like, think about, like, oh, what I might have going on, and it makes me, like, rethink of, like, what am I actually here for, because, like, I write down my goals, like, on a spreadsheet, I'm, like, am I accomplishing those, like, doing this stuff day by day, um, kind of, like, makes me, like, recenter, like, why I'm here, um, but I just think being to yourself, you find peace, um, and it's hard to do without your phone, though. That's, like, the part that sucks. But um, try it. It's cool. I feel like you learn a lot about who you are. Like, you think, like, oh, I could have done, like, I, like, self-reflect. So, like, oh, I could have, like, talked to this person differently about a topic. Or, like, you know, like, I could have handled that situation differently. You, like, think. You kind of, like, I like to self-analyze. So I'm like, hmm, I could have done this better. But, you know, can't change. I can change. Like, my actions were better. So. Mm. Little spiel. I feel like for me, I, sometimes I use it as an escape because I'm always analyzing some random stuff. Yeah. And sometimes it's like I can't like overpower my mind with my mind. It's like fighting fire with fire. So I'll just be like, okay, let me just look at my phone for a little bit. Because if someone does something, like if Alex just sprints down the hallway shirtless, I don't know why he does it. <laughs> <laughs> this Alex right here. I'll just be like, what is he doing? And then I start going like, what would make someone do something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Not like just in general. Like just actually like, done that. Before. That's just how my mind kind of works. Like I get a little deep into that. <laughs> He's done it several what times. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Though. Well, not, he's not always straight this, but he just runs, like, to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> No one knows that's why. That's kind of true. Because I just, I just, I just, I don't know. Just he sprints. Like, that's how we know what you're doing. Not sprints. You, you could walk. You guys act like I'm a hermit. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. No, you're not a hermit. It's just, that's just something we just don't expect. <laughs> okay. Wait, Did you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um. Just, like, taking a moment, a moment, like, in the morning, like, I think it's important after you wake up, first of all, once you wake up, drink a glass of water, and that'll wake you up. But second of all, it's a pro tip, you guys gotta try that. Second of all, just take, like, maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 
just to be yourself with no distractions. Like, close your eyes and just feel your breathing. That's what I do in the morning, and it just kind of gets you ready for the day. And, like, I don't know, it just kind of accepts, like, maybe look in the mirror. Like, while, while I'm doing my face routine, like, while I'm washing my skin and uh, putting lotion on, it just, like, puts me, like, in myself, if you know what I mean. Like, it gives me a moment, moment to be in, in the moment. So just, like, taking time to be with yourself and just acknowledge who you are is just kind of valuable way to kind of combat that. That's so real. But I, I meditate nice. in the morning. But this morning, when I meditate, like, cause I, w- I woke up at um, I woke up at five fifty. I wanted to uh, yeah, and I wanted to meditate ah, for, for ten what? minutes and then go to the gym. Oh okay. Cause it opens at six. You go to the gym? Yeah. What but gym? after after I, the north. Okay. After the I, north. <laughs> 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 like, north. Why would I go anywhere else at six a.m. Uh, our pack. I'm not going all the way to the R. Okay. But anyway, so I sat in my bed and I meditated, and then it was like thirty minutes went by. And now I, when I stopped, I was like, I don't even feel like moving anymore. So I just went back to... <laughs> no. Yeah, that's happened. Bro, I was like, I can't do it. And then I ended up like, bro, I couldn't do it. Try it. Drink much. a glass of water. Have a water bottle filled. Drink a glass of water once you wake up. Yeah, maybe I should. No, I, I do that too. That's actually... That's what it works. Well. But yeah. Usually I just have to pop up and just... <laughs> yeah, that too. No, but yeah. I'd say like going to the gym. I, I always make a priority. I have to go to the gym before I start anything else. Because like... That's where I can just, like, not think about anything, just about weights and the stuff that I have to do. And then, like, once I'm, like, I'm done at the gym, I'm like, okay, I can breathe. Everything's going to be cool, you know. It's going to be a normal day. It's just, you know. The gym is where it's at. Uh, I used to have lucid dreams every time I came back from the gym. What? <laughs> Bro, because I used to go and then not eat afterwards. Oh. oh. And then I would go back to sleep. Whoa. And then it, I would have a lucid dream every time. That just means you have it, like, have any fuel to... I know, but that means, like, you go right back into that sleep cycle. It was okay fun. <laughs> I can't lie. That does not sound it fun. It was fun. I okay, can, whatever. I, and then when I started eating after, I stopped having them, but... Okay. Uh, but, bro, that sleep after, I don't even want to get up. That's, like, some I have to learn how to deal with. Because after you, like, go at 6 and then we have to wake up at, like, 9. Yeah. I'm just like I don't even feel like moving, and I'll be I'll be sitting in, the, in the front of the lecture like. <laughs> what time's your first class usually? Nine. Okay. We're all in the same class. Yes. Yeah. No, but like maybe the other no, days that like, you don't have that. Yeah, econ- yeah econ- I don't. Okay. okay. I'll just be like. What time's your recitation though? And what day? Same time. Friday. Me too. Where's it at? Uh, Scott Lab. In the basement of Sky Lab and something. Dude, family. that building is so confusing. Yes, it is, bro. <laughs> I, was on the, I was on the west. I was in the west building, for like. An hour trying to look for the class. I'm like, this is room 50. I'm why so no one's there? I had some friends in there to be like, oh, it's down that way. Like, who are bro, engineers? And I was like, bro, I this couldn't building find is it. so confusing. So I got in the last 10 minutes and then took the quiz and then left. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. Man, but um, I, I have like mine on Thursdays, but it's like in last and B. When was the last time you guys read for leisure? You uh, three days ago. Read, like, read I just finished my book, which was really sad. What book? Um, End of the World Running Club. Okay. Really I good book. I love reading. I just finding a good book is my biggest problem because I'm like a really picky reader. No, I need to find a book to be honest. When's the last time you read the Bible? Last boy. time I read, yeah. Um, Bible wise, it was probably Friday the last time I read the Bible. But I really don't read that much. Like I, I just like I'm trying to learn. Like someone recommended like an investment book. And then this other book about like wait, read for leisure was that the question? Or yeah, just yeah. yeah, just no, no. for leisure. Yeah, yeah I you can read don't. for school. No, yeah, I don't read well, for I read school. for school like every day, yeah. but like read for yeah. leisure. That's what I'm wondering. No, like, when do you read for yourself? I need a book. Fiction for books. Leisure. 48 Laws of Power. Why you get that book? Yeah. I haven't actually have not read it since like I got it. You haven't? So you have read it? I've read like I read the first six chapters and I stopped. So the first six laws of the house? But mm. Yeah. I haven't read the book. But but I, didn't, I, want, I didn't want to continue it. I felt like it was toxic. Well, that's what everybody says about the book. It is. But is I, it actually like written like in a toxic way? Well, not necessarily, but it's like you can interpret them to be. No, like it tells you exactly what to do. <laughs> Are you serious? Not, not exactly. <laughs> it gives you like examples of what's been done. Oh, I can't interesting. See an example, so. Yeah, I'm really curious because I was gonna buy this book for you just because. Like, sweet. Wait, what's the book? Um, so, Forty-eight laws of power. Like, learn to keep wow. people dependent on you. To maintain your independence, you must always be needed and wanted. The more you're allowed, the more free. Holy shit! Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> it is. Toxic. Toxic. It's like this part is toxic. I haven't read this far. Like I stopped it. 
where my annotations That's are. That's wild. What are the red, what's red text? It's just like a, I don't know, actually. I never read it because I didn't feel like reading the red part. But like, oh, dang. Transfer. <laughs> mm. oh. Never put too much trust in friends. Like Not how to use the enemies. Oh. Conceal your intentions. Like it's, I don't know. I'm going to read it. You can, <laughs> but I would recommend no, other stuff. Read that. Yeah. I definitely got to read that. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see. Yeah, like, y'all don't want to read that. It also te- well, it's also like teaches you how not to be manipulated. Yeah, I think that's like the main reason I tried to get into it. But Oof. in learning that stuff, you just it's gonna end up you're gonna end up using it without yeah. knowing it. I don't want to end up doing that, at least at this point, because I feel like that's so ingenuine. But whatever, regardless. <laughs> so uh, I read for these all the time, or whenever I really have the opportunity. What are you reading right now? And what kind of books do you like? <coughs> Straight philosophy. Don't have <laughs> like, actually? Like, actually? Yeah. Can I, like, see a philosophy book? This well, is just let me see where, Yeah, I do want to see as well. Jesus. Oh. This is a World's Great Men of Color. This is not a philosophy book. Oh, it's not philosophy. World's Great Men of Color. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Let me take it. Let me just take whatever. Like... Way of Zion. <laughs> Why am I getting on book tour? There's more back here. I enjoy reading this. I don't, I'm always looking for another book. I don't no, know I'm if I can read a, a philosophy a, book. Looking for a book. I don't care what it is. Either. They're valid. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. They get kind of boring. Because it's not like plot. I love plot. Like, that's, why I, <laughs> that's why I read. Like That's why I read this last book. It was so addicting. Like, I love page turners. It's not a plot book. It's like just information. Yeah, that just teaches information. you that. Yeah. So, yeah. Those type of non-fiction books. Um, how many hours a day do you spend on social media? I'm just gonna give myself a steady, like calm six. That's probably reminds that too. If I'm being so real. Yeah. Probably same thing. Wait, hold on. A day huh? is crazy. How do I see more? I can't really see a week. This is weird. Can't you go back to like a previous week? Daily average is. I don't know, bro. You spend game time on games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the. Bro, like. I don't know. That's kind of. No, it's like. So basically, yeah, my daily know. average is six. Oh, wait. Yeah, six. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, perfect, perfect. Wait, how do you do This was a bad week. Oh, yeah, six. That was a bad week. <laughs> wait, where do you go to. How seven. do you change the week to like. I yeah. pressed. Damn, what? Like when I clicked on this. Oh, this way, it's yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, God sense. damn. Wait, what was I doing that way? Awesome. Holy fuck. You didn't see that? Eight? That was wild. Okay, anyways. But, um. No, that's insane. Eight, eight hours? Six. Eight hours? Wait, eight hours. That was one week. That's like that all your conscious time. That was one week. <laughs> that was one week. That's all, just like all your time. That was one week. That's all your free time during the day. No, it's insane. I mean, tough, tough week, Dude, I don't know what that was. If I'm being so, it's at six. It's like it's like it's like around six thirty, six hours thirty minutes. Yeah, six hours. And yeah, mine's probably six. Wait, or so. where'd it go? But I I go on YouTube depends. and listen to lectures for like hours. It, it like disappeared. <laughs> I didn't delete it. It's whatever, bro. You had the eight. <laughs> I saw it. I no, you, you, you did. I'm not denying. It. So. What do you think you guys can do about that? Do you think that's a negative Ooh. amount of time, or do you oh, think it's definitely just a okay? negative amount of time? Yeah. <laughs> so what yeah, is it? I don't know what that week there was like. It was probably like. So what's an break okay break. amount of time? What's an okay amount of time? Yeah. I'm trying to get to five. Get to five? You think five is okay? Four. Yeah, because like a, an hour of that five is at least music. Um, and then. Hmm. And now I probably brawl stars, and I'm trying to get Instagram down. So like, <laughs> Why do you need brawl stars? <laughs> that's not, no, so, that's not social media, though. That's, no, I mean, that's I would different. say, like, four. I'm trying to get down to four. Cause yeah, four is also valid. Instagram I want two. Is my thing. You want two. I'd have to do I have to I can't do Other than I music, of course. Because I can't. I'll listen to music whenever. I'll delete TikTok, probably. But. I'll delete, I delete TikTok. Still? I should have canceled I have it, but I don't use yeah, it. Yeah, I think TikTok contributes the most to, like, that I short-term use it for gratification. Lifting. Vine was the same way. It's because you get so much in those little periods of time, and then yeah, you, like, you step away from it, and, and nothing's funny. I don't need my week's TikToks now, because I just don't use it. Yeah. I deleted to li- get lifting tips from, like, just splits. 
form. Yeah, but it's just shit like that. Mm. Okay. I swear. You can, my, you, can my, you can look through my search history. I don't. But you got it. Like, I, I, why would I not believe you? Do you guys ever sit alone with yourself? I know you answered this. You kind of answered it, but you said you were, like, actively doing something. Or, like, typically, if I sit alone, it's, like, usually in my room. Or, like... What are you doing? Are you just, like, sitting there? Why am I... You on your phone? Not on... Well, that's only really at nighttime, like, honestly. Like, I'll probably sit alone, like, during the night. Mm. Obviously. But... I'm, like, moving around and thinking about, like, like how, how my room looks, which I need to clean mine because my, my room is, like, I'm going to clean some spots. Um, but yes and no. I mean, I really tried to, like, not be stagnant because, like, my watch tells me, like, get up. Like, it says, like, you've been, like, sitting, like, here for, like, an hour or something, or something like that. I'm, like, I don't know. I just have to get up moving or something. So depends, really. It depends on my mental state that day. <clears throat> Have either of you ever tried meditation? Yeah. No. I've tried it. I feel like it's... I haven't. I feel like that's just kind of what I do, but it's not. That's just, like, more steps of putting your mind, like, in another mental state. But I just, like, I just sit there and, like, look at myself or just breathe and just focus on breathing. That's meditation. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, are you moving around? No, I just, like, look at myself. Oh, then, yeah. Or, like, look in a mirror. Just yeah, like there's mirror meditation. I did that, like, during quarantine. I used to meditate right in front of a mirror, and we, I just, like, look at myself for, like, hours. Mm. <laughs> hours? Hour? I had nothing to do. It was like quarantine. Cause it I had quarantine. like afro, my sideburns <laughs> all grown I out. I would to see that. Bro, I, had, I literally <laughs> would just meditate for like two, three hours In quarantine? I had nothing to do. The technology was wild. I'd just be on a, a, like the game. For, I'd be playing Fortnite for so long. I didn't have a good Wi-Fi card on my computer, so I couldn't Aww. really play no like taxing stuff. <laughs> no, I just played the game as well. Like, and then I picked up the Calm app. Like, my dad has, like, a subscription, and I just started to use that. Is it the app that's, like, supposed to help you sleep? No, it's for me- it's that, and it's for meditation as well. And okay. It's been pretty cool. Um, I used it before games and after, like, tests or before any event that I have that's big. And it's, it's helped a lot. But I haven't, like, been doing it as much here at college, so I got to re- like, get back to it. What did you just do? Hmm? You just cracked your... Really? Yeah. Are you double-jointed? No. Why is that so strange? That together? was wild. I, I literally yeah. sat in you class doing like that. this, yeah, and then my neck shattered itself. That was I was wild. like, bro, what? I was like, what just happened? My body's old. I'm an old man, man. <laughs> you got old man knees. I got old man brain. Old man uh, what? Old man brain. <laughs> bro, you're not an old head. <laughs> I don't want to be an old head. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually preposterous. So what do you think the next step for you guys looks like? Reading books. Very insightful. Um, the next step for me is probably to get off social media entirely. You're not doing that. I swear mm-hmm. I won't. I'll delete Instagram. And I'll you keep probably, Snap? Because I, I use it for 14 yeah. minutes a day. <laughs> There's nothing for me on Snap besides like sending a picture to like my friends who I don't see mm-hmm. that live in like Florida or whatever like for college. So I that's all. I, I literally yeah. don't use the app because <laughs> it's so annoying to answer it. So what are you going to do with the back. newfound free time? That's a great question. Probably allocate it more efficiently because that's something I don't do right now. I would say for me, I really want to read more books um, just about life in general. Because um, I'm not really, like, I just want to find a book where I can just read and learn. Probably delete TikTok at some point because I'm tired of that. It's I'm only on it because I might find some, like, funny memes. The first step is acknowledging you can yeah. It's bad for but you. But, yeah, so. it is... It's, it's too much. It is too much, poison. though. I'm like, you said I'm, what? So a lot of people know they're drinking poison, and they still drink it because it right. tastes good. No, so like, deleting TikTok is my first thing, and then Instagram will probably be the hardest. Uh, Snapchat probably won't be as difficult. Oh, it's gonna be TikTok for me. I ain't gonna lie. Instagram. <laughs> I Mine's can, Instagram. I, I can I go without it. I don't use TikTok. Yeah. Like ever. I could go without Instagram. I go without Snap. I could go without TikTok. Just to, just cold turkey it. Like just delete it and see what happens. Go what, TikTok? Yeah. But I post TikTok sometimes. For what? I made one TikTok. Yeah, I have a, so I have a, like, a different account. Okay. So I don't know. I know you don't be, I, I, that's just your, that's just your body telling you you want to keep it. That yeah, response. but. I know it is. But I, no, but literally I do post TikTok on it. Like, All right, post. then post one and get off right after. Like delete it after? Because I know, yeah, because I know, then just get it off right after. Then just get off the app. 
Like put like a how long does it take you to post? Thirty seconds. Then put a then put a, then put a ten minute timer on. Yeah, I'll think of a quote and then ten minute timer. On how do you app. put a timer on it? On the app? Yeah. You can hold on. Let me see. <laughs> oh, they might they might have up I did up. <laughs> Bro, that's gonna be so tax. I'm about to cry. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Dude, it's for you. It's for your own good, though. We're Why y'all? Y'all come on, man. We're <laughs> better first than for real. Yo, I'm gonna end up playing guitar. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna pop out hey, as a musician. Up, hey, you're gonna pick up a new skill or a new hobby. I already got too many hobbies. It's probably all screen time, though. No? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh, hell no, boy. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, you got, what was it, 10 minutes? You said 10. How long does it take you to post? Mm. You're Realistically? Like, oh, I need two hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to give us some no, time. No, time. You got to do time. If, you, if you're got, trying to go cold turkey, give yourself 10 minutes. But if you're trying yeah. to go cold turkey, give yourself like an hour. Because <laughs> you'll be so surprised how fast an hour flies by. I, I know, because like, I know if I don't remember, I won't be able to post nothing <laughs> that day. I'm going to give myself 15. 15. Oh, that's so fucking ass. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so it's there? Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes is, is crazy. Check in with me tomorrow, see if I passed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. You're not passing that. I mean, if I don't have that, then like, I have because I have a schedule of stuff I have to do after this. And it's probably just going to get done immediately. I got to meditate, do some smart books for econ, and uh, yes. then a discussion. That econ shit, I don't understand what we're doing. Then I'm going to end up GDP, with today. GDP. I don't understand, bro. I understand I the calculations. I know, I know I understand the calculations, but like, I know the GDP. I don't understand. I didn't understand it at first, and then my t- recitation. Like, it's just like gross. So it's just like the measure of like total economic activity. It's kind of stupid because yeah. it's literally like so inaccurate. The same as like <laughs> anything else. It's literally like the same as marginal or not marginal. It's just literally the same as like regular revenue. Yeah. Because you just multiply profit or the price by the quantity. You just have to incorporate like different years. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like the base year and you find like nominal. I'm like, yeah, that was like, I was like, what? Uh, oh, real GDP versus like, yeah, nominal. nominal. Yeah, it's like know, you, you have to have the base year, and I'm like, difference. I don't know the difference. nominal is like if you had the same as like, I don't know, you basically don't change the price. Like how it may change in price during the years, mm-hmm. but you just go with like the base price and then see how it would, would have done like in previous years. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to study that after though. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't even know how I got that far. I ain't opened a book yet. But, um, <laughs> me neither. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in class every so often. Every right. so often. No, because the first two weeks were just micro. Oh, yeah. And, and I already knew that. that. Yeah. Like, micro. I hated micro. I hate that class. What'd you get at micro? Yeah? I had a B. My, I abuse her. Yeah, so. what'd, you, what'd you get at micro? I got a B plus. But I had a teacher that didn't teach. So what'd you have? I, had, um, I don't remember his name. Abuser? No. Abuser's the only guy I had a grad right? student oh. teaching. Was it a small classroom? Yeah. Huh. And he I was like, gonna take didn't that one teach. I, well, none of the econ teachers fucking teach. Besides, Darcy's supposed to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. That's why I picked. But, um. Yeah, I had uh, yeah. Ida. And she was the worst. I just didn't know whatever she was saying, like, at any time. What was her grade, though? I got an A. Oh. Of course you did. Yeah. Do you guys have any closing remarks? Um. Yeah, just the first step is just being able to recognize, like, what you're doing is wrong. And like not wrong, but it's just like not beneficial. And it's yeah, it doesn't benefit you as a person at all. So just mm-hmm. recognizing that and being able to decide what you're gonna do to make things better for yourself. I would say understand to Alex's point, understand what your flaws are and like what is keeping you like from prohibiting is prohibiting like your goals that you want. Um so at the same time you have to understand <laughs> These things are so fun. what your priorities <laughs> are. Um and Get, like, a cohesive plan and then follow that plan and then track. Because if you do that, I feel like that would help. But just saying it is one thing, but actually doing it is another thing. Yeah, like, you just put that for a few minutes on your... Uh, Facts. Facts. Nice. Yeah, I'm funny. Yeah. That was nice. Too yeah. much of the day is lost in expectation of the night. Mm. Huh? That's, that's a just, bar? That's a bar. Yeah, but no, like, screen time, like, so sneaks up on you and nobody, like, says anything about it. Like, no, seriously. I put a one-hour timer on TikTok when I was trying to, like, actually quit. And you... Literally, like, like I swear, it was like 15 on? minutes. And I, it'd be an hour, and I'd be like, what? Wait, does it just shut down the app? It'll, or it'll just give tell you a notification. Oh, so you could just keep using it, but it would tell you? Well, you, I guess there's a more complicated way to shut it down, which I could figure out for you. 
But uh, that'll just come uh, up like an ad. If it pops up, I'll just be like. They'll say like time limit reached. And then they'll say like mm, ignore okay. or okay or accept or something like that. So. If you're strong enough, we'll push. Guacamole. Dick.